I did this painting of wine bottles and, and uh, some chocolate covered strawberries and I want to show you how I painted that little strawberry right there. Doesn't it look delicious? Here's our strawberry we're going to paint today. And we're going to go ahead and fill this whole canvas with a strawberry. Start drawing with some raw sienna burnt sienna. And we're going to do one great big strawberry. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to paint the whole outer area of the white. And I'm going to, I'm mixing in with the color that I already have on there so we can have some unity in our painting. And I just took some ultramarine blue. And white. And we're going to go ahead and put that all around. More blue than I did last time just to change things up a bit. A little bit of ultramarine blue there, alizarin crimson, and we have a little bit of a purple color. Go ahead and do some green. Toned down green. I mixed it with a little bit of the alizarin crimson so it tones down a little bit. And there's one of our leaves. I've used uh, a burnt sienna, but I add green to it or blue, put a little shadow. And I use ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and a little cerulean. I'm going to let that shadow go right off the page. Okay, when we're going to do the strawberry, and I'm dipping into the alizarin crimson, and I want it to gray back, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of that gray I just used over here. That's what I'm talking about. Let it get a little lighter at the top. If you look at the shine, it looks very cool. So we're going to go ahead and put shine. And that is the same gray tones found in the back, in the background, on the white cloth. Cad red. We're mixing it into the uh, alizarin crimson we already had on our palette. And we're gonna get some of these little details that you see, these little bumps. So we're gonna put the highlights on the bumps on the strawberry. Start out dark and we get lighter and lighter. Blessings to everyone. Come back and see me next week. Bye-bye.